number one, and I think that this is, it should be the biggest topic of the day. And, and it's not, for whatever reason. Aaron Rodgers decided to finally discuss publicly the Jordan Love pick that the Green Bay Packers made in the first round back in the NFL draft in April. I, we all assumed that, yes, he's probably irritated, he's pissed off, he's whatever. It, it sounds like he is resigned to the fact that I did not change the topics on the screen. If anybody's watching this, good gracious. Here, we'll just go ahead and drop those out. Um, so, I... Uh, <laughs> Mike said Kelly was running his mouth. Um, all right, hold on. We'll get to that here in a little bit. I want to talk Aaron Rodgers. Let's keep this going. He was on Kyle Brandt's upcoming... Uh, Ringer podcast called 10 Questions. It's going to be exclusively on Spotify, and it comes out August 12th, but he's already released some of the information that came out of it. Uh, he expects the Packers to move on from him rather quickly. Chris and I have discussed the role of quarterbacks, especially rookie deal quarterbacks, coming up in, in the modern NFL, right? If you can get a good quarterback on a rookie deal, you can afford to pay everybody else and it fits into that salary cap structure, which will allow you to be a much better team going forward because, as we just saw with Patrick Mahomes, as we have seen with numerous, numerous guys, uh, you have to pay the quarterback. And when you pay the quarterback a substantial percentage of your salary cap, you can't afford to be good at the other positions. We all understand quarterback in the NFL right now is the absolute most important position on the field, but that does not mean that your offensive and defensive line is not important. It doesn't mean that your playmakers are not important. It doesn't mean that your defense is not important. You need to pay your linebackers. You need to pay your defensive ends, you, as we'll talk about with Joey Bosa later. you got to get other guys paid as well. So you got to make sure that there's a team around your quarterback. The easiest way to do that is to get a good quarterback on a rookie deal. Russell Wilson has not been back to a Super Bowl since his rookie deal. It goes on and on and on. Uh, Michael said, how many years does Rodgers have left on his deal? Um, Rodgers has four years left. So <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, Mike said, I want to know what kind of tequila he drinks to be able to sit down and sip tequila. Hey, let's not judge the man. That's another part of this, by the way, I haven't gotten to. Uh, he's, he told everybody in this interview that he sat down and he poured about four fingers of tequila and just sat and sipped and drank and enjoyed his night because he knew it was going to be one of those nights. And when everybody called him, he said, uh, he said, I'm fine. Everything's good. Uh, there were a lot of different things in this that have already come out. He, uh, he did say, uh, I think probably the former on Green Bay eventually replacing him, he said that's probably what happens based on the circumstances around everything. Just look at the facts. They traded up. They drafted him. I would say they like him. They want to play him. Yes, if you got a rookie quarterback on a rookie deal, like, a good quarterback on a rookie deal. Yeah. Um, Mike said, I'm all about drinking just tequila. Uh, tequila belongs to margaritas or shots. No, no, no. Not if you get a good tequila. You get a really good one. And as as Chris and I will discuss eventually on the show, we've discussed it before. But uh, but if you've watched in the past, I'll be sitting and sipping on tequila. It looks like water. But, no, it's, it's actually really, really good stuff. And you can get a good bottle for 30 bucks. But either way... Um, so, this is another one that, uh, that, that Aaron Rodgers said. Uh, I know what he's going through. Rodgers said, the last thing you want is any negativity about realizing a childhood dream. I called him and just told him, congrats, man. I understand what you're going through. It's super exciting. I'm excited to work with you, which I am. Uh, he admitted it was not the scenario he envisioned. He obviously wanted a wide receiver. He said, was I bummed out? Of course. Who wouldn't be? Uh, I want to play my entire career in Green Bay. I love the city. I grew up there. Really, I got there when I was 21, and I'm 36 now. A lot changes during that time, but I get it. I see it completely clearly, and I'm not bitter about it. It just kind of is what it is. It It's interesting to see all of this stuff come out now because we all assume this is what was going on, right? I mean, it, good gracious. Uh, Michael said, well, we saw him courtside trying to chug a beer, so he obviously doesn't drink. Well, he, he is known to be a scotch guy, and now he's kind of been moving back over to tequila and... I mean, I'm good with that. I mean, I'm a bourbon guy, but I'll sit and drink a nice tequila. I got no problem with that. As a matter of fact, it, depending on the tequila, I'd rather drink that, in all honesty. And you can call me whatever names you want to, but uh, but hey, if it's a good one, it's a good one. So yes, this whole thing with Aaron Rodgers now leads us to try and figure out, well, where does he end up? He's 36 years old. 
where does he go? Damien said the reason why he was chugging down the tequila is because he knows he can't chug beer. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, hey, if, but if you're used to scotch, if you're used to, like, the, the finer liquors, uh, beer is not going to cut it for you. It's just not. Mike C. said, uh, bad props for being able to sip tequila. Bourbon and scotch is for me. Yeah. No, I like bourbon, but uh, if it's a good tequila, a good smooth tequila, yeah, 100%. Now, for me, it's got to be Blanco. It's got to be, you know, I, I can't drink the gold stuff. But, yeah, if it's a good tequila, I will absolutely sip it all day long. I am with Rogers on that. I will definitely agree with him there. Uh, the next question is, where, where does he go next? Where can the Packers trade him that would make sense that he would actually want to go? And I think the answer to that question is a Super Bowl contending team. So you've got to have the Patriots. you got to have, it, does he go back with Mike McCarthy? Does I mean, do they find a way to make things work? Um, Michael said, I had a nice cold summer shandy this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, if you got a nice beer, I mean, absolutely. Turn on my lights over here. I, I, I had to run in quickly. It, today has been a little bit, a little bit bananas. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, you know, does he go to the Steelers? Does, does Ben re-injure himself and, and they need help at the quarterback position? Does, uh, do the Cowboys and Mike McCarthy try and, and get him away in a trade if they don't like what Dak does this year? Uh, does, he, does he leave after this season? Does Green Bay try and trade him after the season if Jordan Love shows some promise? You know, it's a massive, massive contract, but it, there are teams that will find out that their quarterback situation is not what they thought it was, and they are going to need somebody in that position. Uh, maybe you can go with an aging Aaron Rodgers for a few years until you get the next guy. So, I mean, we'll see. Mike said, I think he's two years from a trade, maybe the Saints. Hey, that would be unbelievable to see him in that offense. Him and Sean Payton would be a lot of fun. Uh, Michael said, Niners, when they finally figure out they've overpaid Jimmy G. Honestly, if you look at what Jimmy G's contract is right now compared to the other ones that are coming out, I think they got a deal. I mean, they absolutely got a deal. Now, obviously, everybody will be considered overpaid once we figure out what the salary cap is going to be next season because this year it is going to take a hit. It is going to be bad. So I, you're going to see a lot of guys trying to get extensions done, especially with guaranteed money it's been, this year. I mean, you're going to want that done, which is why I'm a little surprised that, uh, that Jamal Adams didn't want to go ahead and get a deal done with the Seahawks. That just didn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's, it, go ahead and get that deal done. Get yourself taken care of because if you try and wait until after this season and wait for next season, they're not going to be able to give you as much. Just saying. Just saying. All right, let's move on. You guys wanted to hit on it. Let's go ahead and discuss.